If you love a healthy ice cream, then I've got a good alternative for you with this mango banana smoothie bowl. We'll start by getting some coconut milk into our blender so that provides the base and it can help our blender whip all of the ingredients together. You need about a quarter of a cup of coconut milk or any milk of your choice. The coconut milk gives it that really lovely tropical mango, banana, coconutty flavour. Then we'll get our spices in. I love cinnamon in a lot of my foods. You might have noticed it adds that natural source of sweet. But cinnamon's also really helpful to help manage your blood sugar levels, which is really wonderful so you don't get those energy highs and lows throughout the morning when you've had your smoothie bowl. Or maybe you've served it up to your kids for afternoon tea. There's a bit of turmeric here, which is an optional extra. I personally love it. I love the colour. I love the little bit of flavour. And turmeric's really rich in anti-inflammatory compounds too. Now, we always have bananas in our house, but there'll be some weeks where everyone eats all of them on the kitchen bench and other weeks where they all turn a little bit brown. So on those weeks when they're going a little bit brown, I peel them and get them in the freezer, ready to make delicious smoothie bowls like this one. So slice up your frozen banana so they're very similar in size to your frozen mango and that's going to help all of the ingredients blend together just that little bit easier. Frozen mango are great in the summertime. If you've got fresh mangoes, you can chop up and pop in the freezer. But you can also buy them straight from the freezer aisle at any other time of the year as well. And because I love getting some veggies in here and there, and if I've often had a really big cauliflower and there's a bit left over and I'm not sure what to do with those few little cauliflower florets, I'll freeze them as well and get them into a smoothie here. Now being frozen and fresh, they're actually really neutral in flavour, so you'd never know that there was a veggie hiding in a smoothie bowl. And the same goes if you've got some avocados in the fruit bowl and you can see there at that touch and go moment, you want to make the most of them, grab them, scoop them out, pop them in the freezer and then they're ready to get into smoothie bowls and provide a really wholesome source of fat in a smoothie bowl too to help keep you fuller for longer. Then we'll blend all our ingredients up and that's it. So much easier, so much more economical and making use of potentially some ingredients that might have otherwise gone to waste as well. So that's done, now let's get it into our bowl. So a little tip I have if you're a smoothie bowl lover is to get some of these coconut bowls in your life because they actually help keep the ingredients frozen for longer. So if you were to put it into a ceramic or a glass bowl, you might find that your nice thick gelato-like smoothie starts to melt a lot sooner. So a little tip there for you. You can see the consistency is lovely and thick and now it's over to your toppings, which is the fun part, right? I love the crunch factor, so I'm going to add some paleo prebiotic granola to the top, which is full of those healthy fats. It's without grains, there's no gluten. You can see all the big chunks of the nuts, seeds, and those coconut flakes too. And that's it. It looks absolutely delicious. And let me tell you, this one will knock your socks off as a little afternoon or breakfast smoothie bowl too.